Being part of a flipped classroom is pretty cool. It's new, it's fresh, it's different, but it's a self-directed learning strategy in many ways because you guys are directing your own learning at home. You're watching the videos, you're taking notes, you're the ones who sort of gauge how engaged you're going to be. And so I came up with an acronym called PASTE. Uh, each one of these letters means something that's going to help you get the most learning out of these videos as possible. So the first one is write all of your notes in neon green. If you write in neon green, it'll really help you absorb everything. No, I'm just kidding. Just pause often. The first one really is just pause often. You can pause me whenever you want to. If I start talking too fast, you can just pause me. It's kind of awesome. But second, in a traditional le lecture, you know, you can't pause the teacher. The teacher is going to keep talking. You can ask them to stop, uh, and they might, or that might be kind of rude to ask. So you can't. You have, you're forced to condense your notes. But in a flipped classroom lecture like a video, you can pause whenever you want to. So make sure you take advantage of that. The second thing is attention. Make sure you turn off anything that might distract you or just get rid of it for the time being. You know yourselves better than I do. And so uh, if there is something that's kind of pulling your attention away every 30 seconds, whether that be, you know, your head turning towards the TV, maybe it's um, your brother or sister, maybe it's your friends texting you, maybe it's Insta, who knows what, all right? Just make sure that you guys take away any distraction that might distract you. That might entail doing your notes in a place other than your bedroom. It might mean, you know, you putting your phone downstairs, whatever it takes to make it happen, um, you guys figure it out. Third, Start early. If you guys are drained and you're dead tired when you start these things, it's not going to work well. So it might not want, you might not want to wait till the end to do these videos. Um, if you wait till 11 or 12 at night, you're not going to learn really much of anything. Next, two devices. Make sure you have two devices to take notes. You can have a computer in your iPad. You can use your phone in an iPad. Or you can just like use any device and, and take notes on a notepad. That's okay too. And last but not least, I want you to evaluate yourself after you finish the notes. And this is the most important step because we go so fast in life. We never stop to reflect and evaluate what we did. And so many times when I take notes, I watch a lot of, um, I watch a lot of videos and tutorials on video editing online and how to do like graphics and such. And, and when I take notes, I end up with this big list of things. And the big list of things is just what I heard. It's not really learning a whole lot. If I went back and studied that and I kind of tried to memorize a few things, I would learn some. Um, but really where the true learning and deep learning happens is when I go back to that list of things that I made and I try to kind of organize it in outline form. And I try to group things together and I say, well, that's related to that. And those were the steps for that step. And this was the step for that layer and this was the set series of steps for this layer, if I kind of combine those things together and organize my notes in groups, in an outline, that's where the real learning takes place. Because believe it or not, when you're doing that on paper or on your iPad, you're doing the same exact thing in your head as you're making connections between things. So at the end of kind of listening to the videos and taking notes, make sure you go back and evaluate your notes and evaluate yourself and what you've learned. I hope these five things help you, and I look forward to a great flip classroom with you this year.